So I cut off the edge to make the mouth and I cut out an opening for the other part of the mouth. I left enough here at the bottom so that the so that the bottom of the mouth stays connected and I'm going to reinforce it with a chopstick which I'll glue in place there. That's the beginning of our lion. The piece that I cut out for the opening of the mouth, I'm going to then cut into two ears that will go here and here. And I've kind of marked it with a pencil. So I took some of the other scraps that I had from cutting out the bottom of the mouth and I cut them into like circles, which I think I will use as eyeballs. So the eyes will go up here there's the mouth. And then I'm going to trim the eyes with fur after I paint it. So it's time to get started with the painting. I'm going to start painting the box. It's probably going to take a couple of coats. I just sort of looked and see how much paint I had. So I'm using the one that I had the most color of. But yeah, I can tell it's not going to cover the, the letters right away. So we'll do a couple of coats. So I finished putting a couple of coats of paint on my box. And where the tape was, the paint isn't really sticking, but that's okay. Because here on the forehead is going to be the circle, because normally on the lion is the circle with the mirror on it to ward away the bad spirits. So I'll be making something round. I think I'll cover it with tin foil to make it look like a mirror, since I don't want anything breakable on my, on my lion. So now i got to decide what color to paint the mouth. I didn't have any white paint, so I used a white piece of paper, traced it along the bottom of the mouth, and cut it out and glued it on. So rather than painting the outside of the eyes, I just cut out some paper and glued it on. And I'm now going to take the eyeballs, and again, instead of painting, I'm going to use a Sharpie. All right, so I've colored the eyeballs and I've put the outside, um, the outside of the eye covered with white, and I'm gonna get ready to glue it onto my box. Oh, I found some of this because the paint didn't cover over the the tape, so I might decorate it with something like this. I'm still playing with it. So that paper that I cut earlier and fringed, I sort of glued on or taped on the back to go around the eyes and then I'll place it here. <laughs> 